This video should help you with writing whole numbers in expanded form. So, expanded form, here's something that happens with expand right there. The lungs are expanding. When you breathe in, your lungs expand. They get bigger. This is a map of the United States starting in, it looks like, 1750. And you notice the blue part is supposed to be the United States. Well, at the beginning, we were owned by Great Britain, so nothing happened. Oh, we've had a revolutionary war. The United States won, so now you have quite a few blue states. And if we keep letting the timeline continue, oh, there was the Louisiana Purchase. The United States just bought a lot more land. It expanded. If we kept going, you would eventually see that it's going to get build up all of the land all the way to the Pacific Ocean. You're going to end up getting Texas. You're going to end up getting California. So let's move on. When numbers expand, they get more spread out. So my number right here is 4,235. So watch how it gets spread out. Um, a couple days ago, we talked about the value of a number. So since I have the four in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands place, it's really worth 4,000. Remember how we wrote the number down and everything else changed to zero on the whack-a-mole? So four in the thousands is really worth 4,000. The two is really worth 200. The three is really worth 30 because it's in the tens place and the five and the ones is really worth five. To make this expanded, all I'm going to do is put a plus sign between each of these. If you wanted to and you have room and that the problem wants you to write them horizontal instead of vertical, I could have written 4,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 5. Exactly the same thing. Because if I line them all up and add them up, that's exactly what would happen. Try another one. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. I got an eight in the million, so it's worth eight million. A one in the hundred thousand, so it's worth one hundred thousand. The zero in the ten thousands place, I don't have to do anything with, because zero is always worth zero, no matter where it is. Five in the thousands is worth five thousand. Zero in the hundreds is worth zero. Zero in the tens is worth zero. Six in the ones is worth six. And I just put my plus signs in. By the way, if you check this out, it should be making a sort of reverse stair pattern for you. Here's one for you to try out. Stop the video, then when you're ready to check the answer, turn it back on. The one out here is in the 10 millions place. The nine's in the nine millions place. No, it's in the millions place, so it's worth nine million. Zero in the hundred thousands, nothing. Zero in ten thousands, nothing. Zero in thousands, nothing. Zero in hundreds, nothing. Four in the tens, 40. Zero in the ones, worth nothing. So there we go. 10 million plus 9 million plus 40. Stop the video and you try it again. Eight in the millions place. Six in the hundred thousand, so it's worth 600,000. Five in the ten thousand, so it's worth fifty thousand. Nothing in the thousands. Two in the hundred, so it's worth two hundred. Three in the ones, so it's worth three. Get my plus signs in. You have to have the plus signs or it's not really expanded form. Oh, we've switched and now we're doing the standard form. So when I do the standard form, one of the things I could do is just write the numbers vertically. Make sure I line up my ones place, and I just add the numbers. So I got 7,000 plus 30, 7,030. I could also count over to the number spots and find the place and say, oh, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I got a seven in the thousands, so I need a seven in the thousands place. And I got a three in the tens, so I need a three in the tens, and nothing else is there. That would work. Here's another thing I could do. I could just start at the right and go, how many ones do I have? Zero. How many tens? Well, 30 is three tens. How many in the hundreds place? Nothing. How many in the thousands place? Seven. Seven thousand thirty. So 
there's quite a few ways that you can do that part. Write the number in standard. I like to do this. I find the number up here that has the most digits. So I see my number right here has seven digits. So I know my answer is going to have seven digits. Put my commas in where they go. And I see I have a six in the million spot. And then I just come to my other numbers. The three is in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. The ten is in the tens. The one, I mean, is in the tens. And the four is in the ones. I can't leave my answer like that blank with the, uh, those three blanks in there. Everywhere there's a blank, it should change to a zero. So in standard form, that number is really worth 6,030,014. Try another one out. Again, find my biggest number with the most digits. Three, six, nine, ten digit number. Nine's in the billion spot. This five is in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand spot. Six is in the hundreds. Three is in the tens. That means everybody else is zero. Stop the video when you try this one out. Here we go. Six digit number. One in the hundred thousands place, four in the ten thousands place, five in the hundreds place, two in the tens, and everybody else is a zero because we need those placeholders in there. One hundred forty thousand five hundred twenty. This time we have a little bit different thing. Um, you kind of think money because in my billfold I probably don't always put. My ones and my tens and my hundreds. Well, that's kind of a joke because I usually don't have hundreds. But I don't always put them in order. If they were in any kind of order, you could still figure out what's going on. So what I like to do on this kind of problem, I could write each number out. Like this is four ones. I got six thousands. And I got nine tens, which is 90. And then add them all up. I could go that way. I can also do this. I just start looking, thinking about when I start on the right side of my number, I'm looking for the ones place first. So I'm checking for ones. I have four ones, so I'm putting a four in the ones place. Next, I'm looking for tens. I have nine tens. I'm looking for hundreds. There's none listed, so that must be a zero. Get my comment. I'm looking for thousands. I need six of them. So 6,094. Try a couple more out. I don't have any ones. I don't have any tens. I do have hundreds. There's four of them. Get my comment. Thousands. Zero. Ten thousands I do have. There's two of them. Hundred thousands. None. And millions. I finally have some. So five million. Twenty thousand. Four hundred. Stop the video when you try it out. All right, here we go. Looking for ones. There they are, five ones. Tens. I do have them. Three tens. Hundreds. None. Thousands. None. Ten thousands. There's nine of them. Hundred thousands. Two of them. My comment, and eight million. So my answer would be eight million, two hundred ninety thousand, thirty-five. Last one, you stop the video and try it out. Here we go. No ones. No tens. I do have some hundreds, six of them. Thousands, none. Ten thousand. Hundred thousands. Millions. Ten millions, I do have nine. One hundred millions. Finally, billions. So there's my answer, 2,090,600,000. So that video should have helped you with going between standard and expanded form.